Welcome to To Enable Help. In this video I'm going to show you some of the functionality that you as a teacher can use uh, in your classroom to understand what's happening with the learners that you are teaching. I'm going to focus again on music theory and we've already chosen what the organization, we've chosen the subject and we've chosen the learners that we are going to mentor. So we are in this case mentoring all users. So if I view my classroom, and this is really where the classroom functionality comes in, you can begin to see you have a bunch of learners that you can, uh, these are the learners that you're analyzing. So the first thing is, these learners have obviously also enrolled on the platform and they've taken assessments on the platform. And now you really want to understand what is going on with those assessments that they've taken. So you're going to analyze. And in music theory, what it does is it gives you nine different modules in mathematics it would be 36 or 37 and the same with physical science it would be one per week. So here we're doing a sort of topic by topic so in letter names I can see what's happening in letter names. So there's my 50% grade average and, and whatever you choose as a teacher is your target to reach. You can see the questions where learners are performing lower than what you are hoping for them to learn, perform. So if I was choosing 50 I would say there's an error there a problem I need to address there, there's a problem I need to address there, and there's a problem I need to address in these instances. Alright, so on this one, it has to do with a clef, and I can see, let's see what the question is, I've got a, I can show the question. And the question now is the letter names for the five lines of the base clef are, and four people did not answer. Okay, so they obviously did not answer because they didn't, did not know the question. They did not want to get a negative mark for it. 19 of the class picked GBDFA, which is incorrect. And 9 picked FACEB. And 14 picked the right answer. So the majority of the answers given were incorrect. And you can see most of them are getting that answer. So. It's an area that which you as a teacher can focus on and you can use your skills as a teacher to explain why they should in fact be choosing this answer and not that answer. If I go back to the next question, and this is one of those language questions, on a stave the bottom line is not counted as the first line. So in our space we understand English is a, is a problem and, and saying putting this negative in there doesn't help. But um, three people did not answer. 24 answered true, which is incorrect, and 11 answered false, which is, co which is correct. So the issue here is to address this and also it's showing that how you phrase the question is, is as much a problem as the question itself. And then further down this space, is these are practical assessments. So these, what we do at Casterbridge is we get our learners, in fact we issue them a booklet which they complete and this is us marking the booklet. So it's taking everything they've learned online or in the classroom and we're applying it as a practical assessment where we are, it's an informal practical assessment and we can see there are issues when they translate this into that space. So that is question two, there's an average of 33% on the practical. Same for question three, question four is 40% on the practical. 35 question 5. So I've got issues which I would know as a teacher that I need to identify around the actual taking of examinations. So that is analyze and that is a fairly important part of, of what you as a teacher can use to understand what's happening in the classroom that you are teaching in and you can now focus your efforts on what your learners do not know. And I'm going to Continue the rest of these in uh, a series of other videos, short videos.